Hello, I'm Johnny Timpson, the Financial Protection and Technical Manager at Scottish Rules Protect. Uh, and I'm also the DWP Disability Champion for the insurance industry and uh, profession. I'm really looking forward to meeting you at the, uh, the, the Cover Health and Protection Summit this year. A couple of things that my colleagues and I at Scottish Rules will be talking to you about. My colleague, Scott Cadger, who's our Head of Underwriting Strategy, uh, Scott's going to talk about critical illness development. It's quite topical, I guess. We've just seen, we just marked the 36th anniversary of the launch of critical illness insurance to the world. And we're about, the time the cover summit happens, we'll be six, seven months on from the launch of the new ABI guide on critical illness minimum standards. So Scott's going to share Scottish Widows thinking on why we now need to make critical illness insurance simpler. Uh, simpler in terms of covering far more conditions but having fewer definitions, smarter, being able to pay more claims quickly, easily, being more accessible. So getting more people who've got pre-existing health conditions uh, able to, uh, to access the valuable cover and that's provided by critical illness insurance. But access to insurance is a big issue and you've probably seen from articles in the Daily Mail and other uh, consumer press titles recently that um, people being denied access to insurance is now making press headlines. It's no longer just about claims not being paid. So in my role at the DWP, I'm keen to work with the industry to improve access to insurance. Now, at the Cover Summit, I'm delighted to be joined by Mike Adams, OBE. He is um, the chief executive of We Are Purple. That's a government-backed initiative to improve access to products and services across the UK and internationally for people with disabilities and pre-existing health conditions. Mike's going to talk with me uh, and share his views about why it's important we make insurance, and protection insurance in particular, far more accessible to the ever-increasing number of people in the UK living with and beyond a health event and, of course, living with disabilities. Look forward to seeing you in October.